Okay, so find the middle of your rope and do a twist in it, a crossing turn like that. Now, first of all, you need to make two loops on each side. One will be on your left, and the other one will be on your right. Like so. So that, that bit goes over the bottom bit, and this bit goes over this bit. Okay. Okay. Cross these over. So that one goes that way. And to this one. And place it over the loop on the right and the left. I'm going to take the one on the right and place it under the loop on the right. So this one's over and this one's under. And I'm going to take the right one just under this loop at the top and makes a second loop here on the left. So it goes under this one it goes over this one here that this is the left one it goes over that then under here Then it goes over here, then it goes under itself, which is this one here, then it goes over, then it goes over again, and it goes under at the end. This will be the second. This is the bottom loop and we'll match the top loop. That's one half of it. Now we start with the loop of material on your left. And this will go up to the top. And it's going to go over. Under the strand in the middle. And over this side here. Works its way down to here. We need to make another loop now. And that will go over this one. I'll go under this one. over this one and back round and you'll go under this one and it goes over itself then under over under and over. And it joins up here at the bottom. With the other loop. Now all we need to do now is pull this all tight. And if you want to double it up you can. My suggestion is that you start from the top. And slowly work out. Work that loop smaller. So, OK, 
Okay, so now it's pulled a bit more tighter. Um, you can see now you've got the two loops at each set side, and then one loop in the middle, and this would make your bottom loop there. And you've got the crisscross pattern in the middle. So, talk about doubling up. All you need to do now is take your working end, let's do this one, and all you do is follow round next to your the strand that's already there. Like so. You can do this two, three, four, five, however many times you like. Just keep going. And when you run out of thread, um, run out of rope going one way, you could start doing it the other way with the other side. Or uh, pull it tighter and then you'll have some extra excess then to keep on tying. Okay, so there's the finished mat. Like I say, I only doubled it, but you can um, triple it however many times you like. So you've got the two loops on each side, and then the loop at the bottom there. And you've got this crisscross pattern in the middle as well.